Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm going to use this bell because it's really fun. I don't really need to, but... All right. So um, I'm going to name and shame everyone that organized. Please come to the stage. Not to the side of the stage, but like on the physical stage. Um, including Aaron up in the AV. Hey, Aaron, can you come down here? <laughs> Hold the applause for Aaron. We're going to make him blush on stage. So um, first of all, I want to go, go through some really funny llama photos I took, basically. <laughs> so these aren't in great order, but that's a great photo of Dan Fowler that I took. Um, this was our group photo, and the llama is in there. It's kind of like, where is Waldo llama? This is Yasmin. This is a great sequence um, of really compassionate llama photos with Napoleon. It got really intimate. I actually touched lips with Napoleon. Um, there was a lot of, I mean, how are we ever going to top the llama, basically? There's one specific one, yeah. Um, a lot of llama selfies. Um, just a recap of the day, I had a lot of fun taking some photos of everyone, getting up on the second floor, watching people eat the carrots, uh, or the llama eat the carrots, um, taking photos of John behind his back. This was my favorite moment of the day, seeing people feed the llama with the carrots in their mouth. Um, so I tweeted a bunch of these photos. If you guys want copies, um, I can give you photos of the big copies. I'll probably put them in Google Photos. Um, and what, where's that other? The, uh, where is the, Elaine, can you show me where that other file is? Is it this one? Aha, okay. So the cat with the thing. So. I wanted to say thank you to Aaron specifically. He okay. So before you applause, Aaron, um, and all the talks have been recorded, and we're gonna have to have, have probably have help editing them. I'm guessing um, because I wouldn't want to put that on you. But if anybody wants to help edit the photos, if you're like an AV person, you know how to edit. Sorry, videos. You should come talk to us. And um, but Aaron single-handedly supplied all the AV equipment for all three tracks out of his own personal repertoire. Um, which is awesome, and so a big, huge round of applause to Aaron. And like I said, he's, he's running an event called Indie Web Camp, and you should definitely check it out. Um, so it was just super awesome. Um, John basically handled all of the adult logistics involved with the conference, calling people on the physical telephone. Um, like booking things, doing receipts and payments and hotels for speakers and like making everything happen. He called the llama people, um, the most important task. So huge shout out to John Chidaki. Without the, him, this would not happen. And I had local organizer help. So we, we want input on where CSV Conf should be in the future. We haven't decided yet. I mean, it might be in Portland again, but I had local Portland help, Nate and Danielle, Helping me out local, keeping it weird. That's awesome. We had Joe and Dan, Open Knowledge International, um, running the data tables. Did everybody like the data tables this year? That was awesome. And of course, Elaine helping out with the dongles and going all the way from Canada. <laughs> and then uh, the person who arranged the talks so that no matter what hour you are on, you're like, how do I choose between these three talks? There's always two talks or three talks that I want to go to at once. Karthik was the mastermind that made your life really difficult over the last few days. The program chair. <laughs> Shout out to Karthik. And um, I just took the cat photo, but it's really a group effort. And we're the, the fun organizers. If you would like to get involved in organizing, um, you can come talk to us to hear what it's like. We make, you know, millions of dollars off of this conference. Um, our, how much in the hole are we? I don't want to know. So, but what I was going to say is the best thing about this conference is the people that come and speak. And the second best thing is the people that come and watch the people that come and speak. And um, no offense to all the audience members that didn't speak, but if you haven't ever submitted a proposal, so just speaking honestly, the hardest part of running a conference is getting the word out to people so that they hit the deadline by our call for proposals deadline to submit. And the more work we put into it, the better proposals that we get. So I'm starting right now, the end of this conference for next year. I'm announcing our call for proposals, which isn't even created yet, but just start thinking about it already. 
because it's just a constant slog to get the word out about it. And um, if everyone in their minds could take a moment and think, either for yourself or for if you already have given a talk, um, who amongst your world would you like to see talk at CSVConf? And maybe send them a Twitter DM and be like, you should speak at CSVConf next year. Or if it's you and you've never spoken or you haven't spoken here, should I speak at CSVConf next year? It is very easy to submit a talk. Um, it's a Google form, and we noticed that when you submit a Google form and then three months later you get accepted, you don't remember even what you proposed, and that's totally fine. Um, so we should probably come up with a better system so people can keep track of that. But um, so we really want your help to make CSVConf even weirder next year. Um, we honestly don't have a plan for outdoing ourselves with the llama this time. Um, so. That's all I have to say. Does anyone else have anything else to say that I forgot? I just have two. Well, I wanted to one more time thank our sponsors, um, the Moore Foundation, the Sloan Foundation, and Open Knowledge International. And I wanted to let you know that um, even though we are ending the kind of program for the day, we actually do have this space for another hour. So if you wanted to go back to the data tables area or hang out with your friends, this is a space for you to use the next hour or so. And Danielle put the, a great link in the Slack channel We'll tweet it out as well of all of the places in Portland that have outdoor seatings <laughs> because it's a beautiful day and you should also um, use the connections used here to go out and have some fun. So that's all I had. And Jason from Field Book wants you to take a t-shirt. if you Yes, want. definitely. <laughs> yeah. And also, as you're leaving, definitely there's a swag table. There's tons of stickers. Um, you all came and shared your stickers. Now you got to take them, spread the love. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thank you.